Today's product review is on the Landiat Tugboat. I've tried a couple variations of this board and in my opinion, it's one of the best in the game. I know last week I said that the Fireball Mini is the best, but man, does the Tugboat deserve that crown. Let's talk about why that is. But first, let's take a look at the components that the tugboat comes with. It comes with bear trucks and high quality hogs wheels, as well as bear spaceable bearings. It's gonna work pretty great out of the box. You also have a ton of different options to pick from, you know, when it comes to trucks and wheels. A lot of tugboat varieties. I think there's even a new one called the Ultra Carve, which comes with RKP trucks, which is pretty interesting. So there's a lot to choose from. You can really get what you want. And definitely some selections are better than others. And I'll explain which is my favorite later on at the end of the video. And let's quickly compare the tugboat and the dinghy. Tugboat is wider than the dinghy. It's nine inches, whilst the dinghy is about eight inches in width. Because it comes with wider trucks, the tugboat is a lot more stable than the dinghy and a lot more comfortable to ride for longer periods of time. It's also a little bit more beginner friendly than the dinghy. Between the two, I much prefer the tugboat. For a more in-depth comparison of those two boards, do check out the in-depth write-up linked in the description. It should tell you everything you need to know. So let's talk about why I love the tugboat so much. And it really boils down to two things. Number one, it was actually pretty comfortable. I could skate it for long periods of time and not get that tired. Of course, it still has small wheels because it's a mini cruiser, so pushing it super far isn't viable. And if I had to pick a mini cruiser to skate day in and day out, this would be the one. I could actually see myself like using this to get to class or across the city every other time. Like it's that functional and that good. And the other thing that I really liked about it that I haven't felt with any other mini cruiser that I've tried is that I actually felt comfortable doing tricks on it. It had good pop. I could do pretty high ollies. I could do like a couple pop shoves. I could do a kickflip. I could do a no comply. Like I was actually doing tricks and I was comfortable, man. I felt like I could progress with this board. And that's really saying something because I personally have been of the view that mini cruisers aren't really the best for that kind of thing. And so for me, being able to do these things with the tugboat really elevates its status in my eyes. However, there are some negative things. Negative thing number one, because the tugboat is wide, it comes with 155 millimeter trucks or 130 millimeter trucks, depending on which wheels you choose or which board you choose. These wide trucks lend that stability and that comfortability for riding over longer periods of time. However, with wide trucks, you trade in nimbleness and quick turning for stability. So the 155 millimeter version of the tugboat was stable, but it felt sluggish and hard to turn at times. In a city environment, this really felt limiting and I couldn't really weave in between people, in between obstacles. I had to use the kick tail to turn a lot and it wasn't that nice. On the flip side, yes, if you're a beginner, this stability could be a benefit to you. I only really felt a good balance of turning and stability when I used a 130 millimeter wide truck on this board however in my review i actually use 130 millimeter paris trucks not the bare tkps so your experience may vary i think your experience will be comparable with mine but uh you know just just do keep that in mind so yeah all to say if you're buying this board go for the one with the 130 millimeter trucks forget about the 155 mil my recommendation is the one with 130 mil and yeah. Finally, let's wrap up by talking about the wheels. The wheels have decent acceleration, decent momentum, and they don't reflect that much road vibration. However, with the options you can get, I do prefer the Fatty Hogs over the Easy Hogs. I haven't tried the Doozy Hogs, but I do think those are pretty good too. So yeah, the wheels are pretty great and some of the best that you can get for a Mini Cruiser. And that's it for the review. There are some things I haven't touched on, for example, the concave of the deck and a couple of other small tidbits, but they are covered in the in-depth review linked in the description. So do check that out. I mean, look at how the look at how the wheels are handling pebbles, man. So good. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video, please subscribe. And if you've skated the tugboat, feel free to leave a comment about what your experience with this board is. As always, big thanks to Landias for sending me this board to review. Man, I tell you guys, I'm super surprised with how this board performed and I didn't think it would be as capable and as functional as it was definitely be skating it more catch you guys in the next review should be a pretty exciting one see ya